Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the series where we like to entertain. I'm talking about getting snipes we can't explain. Missing them though causes us pain, but as long as we aim, we can nail it like Game 5 Dame, because that's the name of the no money spent game, bringing the pay to play to shame. Boys and girls, welcome back to episode 10 of the no money spent series. If you want to buy cheap and reliable MT, hop on over to NBA2King.com and use code HTB5 for a 5% discount. So if you're struggling to go 12 and 0 or finish spotlight challenges, hit up DVDJ on Facebook or Twitter and use code HTB for a 10% discount. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazian here and welcome back to episode 10 of the No Money Spent series, man. I do want to quickly apologize to you guys for not having uploaded this series in like the last week. I hadn't realized it's been that long. I've just been so busy with stuff. I hope you guys understand, but I do hope that today's episode is a banger for that reason. Last episode, we ended up leaving off on going into a game. We sniped a couple cards. We got ourselves a Demarcus. We got a Grand Till. We got a Penny Hardaway. We also had this John McLaughlin who went absolutely nuts for us when we went into an unlimited game and we said he was staying but the thing is since the last time we uploaded 2k has released a couple cards and the cards that they recently released are going to be big time for the no money spent series we're going to be checking them out in just a bit but first things first you guys know I appreciate your support so if we could go ahead and aim for let's say 5,000 likes on today's video. I will be doing an MT giveaway of my own MT, not my sponsor, my own MT to you guys. I already gave away 200K last time. Looking to give away another 200K to two lucky people. So 5K likes and we will do that. Now, before we do get into the whole new cards and stuff like that, first things first, we're going to go ahead and pump in today's locker codes. We've missed a couple codes over the last week, and if these are codes that you guys have missed out on, make sure you go ahead and punch them in because anything free is absolutely amazing, especially if you're a no money spent player. Any MT you can get is always a dub. So let me go ahead and let me punch this in quickly, and I will see you guys at the end. All right, so this is the code right here. It is codes packs MT token now pretty easy code right there Go ahead and punch it in I don't think I've punched in any of these codes on my main account Which I spent MT on because I didn't really see much value in them But again, like I said before in a no money spent these can be huge Especially if we land on that prime D Rose pack or lights out pack and get like a Kevin Durant or Derrick Rose That would be nuts. We're gonna go ahead and drop it here. Let's hope it doesn't take forever or I'm gonna have to time skip land there Come on. Oh, that is tough. I hate it when they tease me like that. At least hit some of the token spots. Hey, I'll take that though. I think we're landing on the best pack right there, which is going to be a prime Derrick Rose pack. If only they guaranteed you like a prime player, like not necessarily Derrick Rose, but any of the diamonds or amethysts or rubies in those packs as well. That would be fire, but we do have one more code here to punch in, and then we can get into sniping, picking up some new cards, evoing some new cards if you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, let me punch this one in really quickly as well, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so for the second code, this one is supposed to give you a free evolution player guaranteed as it says in there in the code. We're going to go ahead and punch this one in. Now, this one isn't very appealing, whether you're no money spent or not. It's not a very appealing locker code. And I would say the best player in this one is probably going to be Drew Holiday because he goes to a pink diamond. But otherwise, I don't really care too much about this code. And if I try to sell the players anyways, they're not going to be going for much MT just because they're all free locker code players. But right here, we get ourselves a drew holiday i'll probably hold on to him see if i evil him along the way but that right there is going to do it for our two locker codes we're going to go ahead and quickly check our auction outcomes from last episode earl monroe sold for 2.2 zion sold for 6.8k wow i now wish i held on to all those ruby zions i sniped that other time oh my goodness they all sold for 3k we could have sold those bad boys for almost 7k a piece and somehow Giannis only sold for 14k this was the heat check Giannis that we ended up pulling out of a pack 
that is very disappointing now we do also have some daily login rewards we have to open here unopened packs look at this starting off with a diamond consumable that i think everybody got on christmas day let's see what it's gonna be Ooh, it's gonna be a diamond shoe ball control dunking speed with ball doesn't look like anything i care for that's definitely going in the auction house uh second one here i believe this was from when i completely reset myself in unlimited gonna flip all it's gonna be a Jarrett allen again nothing too entertaining there is shoes and stuff that you can quick sell which gives you mt that could add up to like 1k mt and then for this last one if we can get a heat check player that would be a dub it's looking like it's going to be an emerald player instead that's an eric bledsoe that's definitely going to be a quick sell as well now on to our last free pack right here the prime derrick rose pack please give us a derrick rose make this episode a banger to start opening the first ah it's gonna be an emerald player that's tough you really never get anything out of these prime packs if you're lucky you'll maybe get like the players that come along with the prime players but i've never seen anybody pull like a derrick rose or a wilt or anything out of those packs either way we got a bunch of free contracts and stuff so that makes me happy we got ourselves a drew holiday let me see how much he's actually going for super quick yeah see he's not going for like any mt i'm actually going to start sending a bunch of these cards to the auction house that i no longer need deandre hunter i no longer need you buddy thank you for your services same thing goes for you evan fournier all the cards that i don't need i gotta try to build up mt on this jonathan isaac i'm gonna still hold on to him because he's still like a clamp god when he needs to be up until we upgrade our lineup to the point where we don't need him i'm gonna hold on to him but i think that should be everything i'm gonna go ahead and quickly quick sell all my uh jerseys and stuff and we'll see how much mt we'll be sitting at right now we're at 67k let's see what happens when i quick sell all the things i don't need all right so i just finished clearing all my stuff out and sending some stuff to the auction house and as you can see off quick selling stuff super quick we're already at 71.5k mt i'm telling you it's crazy how much quick selling takes you a long way but uh andrew bogut we no longer need your service i don't even know how much you're going for we'll start off at a 500 bid all these cards i no longer need because Embiid and demarcus cousins are on the team now evan fournier and doesn't go for much drew holiday definitely doesn't go for much deandre hunter i actually do need to check the prices on these two because i've heard the rubies went up in mt since they dropped all the prices of the pink diamonds and diamonds so i want to quickly check how much mt we can possibly make off an evan fournier that we held on to for a little bit where even is he so it's looking like deandre hunter is going for about 5k so that's pretty good because we bought him for a pretty low price and evan fournier about the same price as well so if we land them both for anywhere in that area i will be super happy but on to what's important man 2k decided to drop some fire packs that i think is the biggest dub for anyone who is a budget baller and look at this man every single card that they dropped in this collection is going to be an evo card now what we plan on doing this episode boys and girls is picking up a couple of these cards changing up our lineup quite a bit and then we're going to evo some of these players and then if we still have time in the end we are going to be taking them online now there's a lot of players that stick out to me obviously this arenas is the best card in the game but the main cards that stick out to me gotta be this hito turkaloo the man has hall of fame range extender as an amethyst this tony allen honestly doesn't look too bad but i've played around with his release on my main account and unless he's going for a very good price i don't really plan on picking him up this markel fultz is a gem this deandre jordan actually is a gem as well and uh maybe we'll pick up this deandre ayton if we're lucky we'll kind of compare him to demarcus and joel Embiid because we've already got pretty solid pickups at the center position already if we can snipe like a rondo or derozan i will lose my mind but uh yeah let's go ahead and let's play around with the auction house let's see what we can pick up off the bat here all right so first things first we're gonna start off with the cheaper cards and work our way up i'm still seeing in the comment section people are like htb you are fake sniping so you know what maybe we will go this whole episode without sniping maybe we'll just buy cards for cheap look at that okay that just popped up that's not in my control look i'm gonna refresh again everyone's gonna say htb this is all you a card just popped up for 1k mt i'm gonna scroll over take my time with it and if no one has bought it i'm gonna go ahead and buy it now all right someone did end up buying it and it had normal contracts people are like htb every time you snipe the cards seem to have extra contracts oh my gosh i'm gonna see if i can land oh it's that same card all right so that card is definitely non-existent i honestly should have bought it i don't even know why i listen to half the people that always criticize me for trying to snipe just because you can't snipe 
doesn't mean I shouldn't snipe. This one just popped up as well. If I'm going to buy one for 1500 I would prefer it has more contracts or something. I'm going to wait a little bit here, though. There's the one for 1000 but honestly, this is a card that's not worth waiting for to snipe because even if you save like 100, 200 MT, it's still really only 100 or 200 MT. So we're going to go ahead and buy the most recent one. We got ourselves a Markel Fultz. Actually, wait. I should have checked how much the Amethyst was going for. That way I could have saved myself time on trying to Evo him. But it looks like the Amethyst one is going for quite a bit of MT. Yo, wait a minute. This means we can flip a bunch of them. I think I actually might do that, guys. Oh my gosh, this is genius. Wait, depending on how big the price difference is, I'm going to Evo a couple of these Markel Fultz and then sell them. All right, that's 6K. If it's going for any lower, I don't know if that's going to be worth the MT. So he's going for about 6K MT. So all you got to do to Evo this Markel Fultz is hit 23s and that will make him go up by almost 3.5K, 4.5K MT. That's kind of a dub. All right, so up next, we're going to go for a small forward. The small forward position is actually somewhere we've been struggling a lot. So if we can get ourselves a Hito here, that would be a huge dub. Now, Hito, he is someone I see going up in price a ton after you Evo him. Just because his Evo requirements is probably one of the most annoying ones. And that is you have to get 20 steals with him. He's going for... Wait. Oh, my God. I was looking at the wrong Hito, bro. I was going to lose my mind. This is the different Evo one. I got to go to the actual theme for him. That had me freaking out. I was like, he's already 13K MT. That would have been nuts. All right, yeah, he's not going for that cheap at all. 24K. I'm sure he's going for a lot because, again, he's got that Hall of Fame range extender, which is only going to make things a bit more difficult. Now, for this card, obviously, you want to try to snipe him. He's going for 28K, and if you can line him for a good price, that is going to be a good price. But uh, let's see. 27 is looking like the cheapest one. It was posted half an hour ago. So I'm going to sit on this filter for a little bit. If we can get one for around 25K, that would save me 2K MT. That's a way bigger difference than Markel Folks, who saves me like 400 MT. Wow! that has 17 contracts i am tempted to buy this one. i have to buy because it, it has 17 contracts look i have to buy it guys i'm not trying to snipe cards that have high contracts but look at this these two popped up at the exact same now i gotta buy it i gotta okay see that one's bought now like i literally have to make a point by not sniping cards because people think that i am purposely putting up cards from other people's accounts that have higher contracts like that is actually ridiculous that that's there and now it's actually going to be there for a little bit that's annoying let me see if i can get a filter there to get rid of it all right see now that one's gone i should have just bought it off the bat i'm tired of trying to make a point what i'm trying to show you guys is people put up cards with high contracts you literally just need to have patience and for those of you that don't have patience then uh ggs because now you're missing out on a ton of cards there's gonna be a ton of cards oh my god there's one to snipe right there come on oh see right there we landed a hero for 22k i could have bought one literally two seconds ago for one that had 25k and 17 contracts i'm just letting you guys know but for all you haters keep thinking this is fake we got ourselves a hito we got ourselves a markel fultz and i actually didn't realize how much mt we actually had we have 47k mt left still and in this collection there is more players that i need to add i realize i didn't bring them from my auctions yet but one player we could add is deandre ayton he's not a bad card at all he becomes a diamond i think all around though i'm gonna stick with demarcus cousins because he's got 10 hall of fame badges i don't have to worry about evoing him he's already super super nice so i'm gonna move on to some other cards rondo how much are you going for 82k 70 all right so people are bidding on him at 70k that's going to be kind of tough to get a snipe. Tony Allen, this is another card I will pick up just to make sure we have him in our arsenal because he has Hall of Fame clamps and all that. And it doesn't hurt to have that in clutch situation so let's see how much he's going for and then once we've collected these cards i'm going to show you guys an evil method super quick all right so this tony allen is going for about 12k mt i'm going to go ahead and quickly check how much the diamond one is going for because it's if it's going for significantly higher i'm going to go ahead and evil him and then sell him but he's really not because again people don't really care much for this tony allen so i could buy him for 12k 
evo him and then sell him for 17.9 that's about like a 6k profit so that honestly isn't too bad right there we might have to do that just to try to make some extra mt on the side work our way up to try to snipe a rondo or something else i doubt that card stays up there for very long but yeah if we can snipe one for under 12k and then sell him for about 18k right there that would be a huge dub 11k ah there is one for 11k that just popped up there's one for 11.5 so i could buy these two right here evo them and then flip them so i think that's what i might do because i'm gonna have to evo hito turkaloo along the way so i gotta be working on something else while i do so so we're gonna take a gamble here we're gonna buy a tony allen we're gonna buy another tony allen and we're actually gonna okay that one got bought but this one didn't that doesn't even make sense why would you buy the more expensive one first either way doesn't matter we now have a bunch of players in our collection i'm gonna try to either get one more tony allen or one more markel folks because those ones they flip for a lot of mt you make more than double the mt you buy markel folks for so that's a dub in its own and then as far as tony allen if we can find one for cheap again we're gonna do that as well but let me collect a couple more cards here Lol. oh my gosh are these all snipes yo snipe central <laughs> these all just popped up at one time <laughs> yo that's actually crazy we really sniped three markel, markel folks for 950 900 mt that's wild i'm gonna keep them all right here and then add them into my collections afterwards but uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our offline lineup right now we're gonna go ahead and throw hito in here we're gonna go ahead and throw in markel folks We'll keep Dwight Howard in there because that man needs an Evo desperately. We're going to add in, where's my man? Tony Allen, the clamp god. Why not? And then the rest of the cards can kind of be whatever. Kobe White is a ruby though. So I'm going to replace him with Eric Bledsoe, who I'm going to quick sell when he runs out of contracts. But this will be the offline squad. We're now just about to go into domination in just a second here. And then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be Evoing these cards. How I'm going to try to get 20 steals with Hito. How we're going to try to get 23s with Tony Allen and Markel Fultz. Folks. so essentially once you've got your whole team figured out kind of like this you got your evil players lined up and stuff like that now we can now go ahead and get the job done we will continue to snipe in just a little bit although i do want to go into a game and try to evil these players right away and make my mt just in case they drop in price but if you're only trying to evil one player at a time then what i recommend you guys go do is hop into a spotlight challenge and just play one of these three minute quarters would be super super easy just because it goes by way faster with three minutes but if if you're trying to evil more than one player i recommend going into domination and then playing any of these games on rookie difficulty obviously you guys can play any team you want the easiest team i've found is the cavaliers but i don't have that unlocked yet so i'm probably gonna have to choose to play the oklahoma city thunder or the jazz most likely the jazz just because that should be a pretty easy team as well so what we're gonna do is hop into this game and i'm gonna show you guys my different methods on how i do things depending on the evolution all right, now that the game's starting, I'm going to quickly show you guys how I do my three-pointers like literally everybody else does. Run to the three-point line and just pull it. Markel Fultz, he's got a super easy release, and whether you're open, contested, or not, you're going to green it most of the time. Fultz already comes with a 79.3, so that makes my job super easy. Someone like Tony Allen, on the other hand, doesn't have the greatest release. Right here, I am going to let them score super quickly just so I can get a bucket, and then I'm going to show you guys how I get my steals. So the way I get my steals, I'll go up here, I'll score with my player, as i usually do or in this case i'll miss let's see let's find my boy faults again there you go catch and shoot that one's green in that case and then i'll switch to hito turkaloo here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna run at the defender here and hit square now that's not always gonna work like it didn't right there but most of the times what you're gonna do is get a bump steal off of that and that's honestly the easiest way to get steals in this game all right so right here again run towards this ball handling side and hit square in this case mike conley's a sapphire which is actually making the job way more annoying than it needs to be because when you play like a team like the cavaliers or something it's way easier so when you're trying to do this play a team that doesn't really have a great point guard in this case mike conley's a sapphire which isn't the greatest but it's enough for him to have decent ball handling which makes things way more annoying than they should be but essentially in this case i'm gonna go ahead and fly through all of this i'll see you guys in the first half and update you on what's going on that's a steal get that there we go good steal right there right to markel again at the three i'm pulling that's a green let's keep it going boys 
All right, so we just actually hit halftime now. And at the half, Markel Fultz has 61 points. He's got 19 threes, so he only needs one more three. I stepped in on a couple of those threes, so they were twos. Turkaloo does have seven steals, so he's on pace to get about 14 steals, which isn't bad. So again, by the second game, if we decide to evil another Markel Fultz, we'll get ourselves a Diamond Hedo Turkaloo in the process. I'll see you guys at the end of the game. All right, guys, so we just finished beating the Utah Jazz here. I'm going to quickly show you guys a box score update on what you can do in one domination game so in one domination game guys we got 23s with markel fultz and 23s with tony allen so now we're going to be able to evo both of them we got 10 steals with hito turkaloo but the thing is he did foul out had he not fouled out i think we could get we could have gotten maybe like 13 steals so we're going to go into one more domination game again we're going to keep our fultz and tony allen here we're going to go buy a different tony allen evo that one and then sell it and keep tony allen but in all honesty Tony Allen, his release is a little questionable. Like, I wasn't able to knock down his three for a good bit to start. Wasn't a big fan of the jumper. Again, it's cool that he's going to be a defensive player, so I'm going to keep him. And he's like an 11K MT diamond if you decide to evo him yourself. This Markel Fultz, though, I know is going to be a bucket. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to him. But we're going to go ahead and buy one more Tony Allen and then go into one more game. And we should have an extra Fultz and Tony Allen to sell. Uh, right here we go ahead and we get the Jazz logo, which honestly, it's nothing too special. If anything, you should be aiming for the three stars when doing something like that. But yeah, guys, just like that, guys, we managed to Evo two of our cards with ease right there. Tony Allen is going to go ahead and Evo right here. He's going to get gold catch and shoot, actually. Actually, that might be big time for him. That might be why he was missing a ton on top of his 72 three-pointer. This Markel Fultz is now going to become a bucket. He gets gold range extender, gold catch and shoot, corner specialist. Like, he probably gets one of the better evolutions, and I think he's going to be replacing Penny Hardaway on my team. All we got to do now is Evo this Turkaloo, because, bro, look at the Evo amount of stuff he gets. The stats and the badges, it's just absolutely insane what he gets when he Evos. But uh, now it's back to the auction house. What we're going to do is add this Markel to our collection, send this one to our auctions for now, and we're going to go ahead and sell this one because we know we can Evo the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and check the prices super quick here. All right, so it's looking like Markel took quite the price dip in literally the half hour that we decided to do an Evo for him. This is why I like to try to sell cards right away because he's all the way down to 5k MT. I mean, keep in mind, we still only bought him for like 1500. So that's like three and a half K win right there. I'm going to go ahead and sell him right away here though, and then dive into the next Evo. Hopefully Tony Allen hasn't dropped too much in price either. So it looks like the cheapest Tony Allen is now 19 K. You know what that means. I'm going to sell this man right away. Try to buy another one and then Evo him. If we can't find another Amit, this one for cheaper, I'd rather just get my profits off this one right away and not take the risk on it. Because again, we worked for that. So let's go ahead and let's collect our MT. We bought him for 11K MT. We can now potentially sell him for 19K MT. That's an amazing flip. I'll put him for like 18.7 so he sells right away. But that flip right there is a big dub. That basically makes up for a bunch of MT we've already spent today. And now I'm going to keep playing with the auction house here to get another cheap Tony Allen. Because if we can get another cheap Tony Allen, what are we going to do? We're going to flip yet another one. And one just popped up for 11K. I'm going to go ahead and take that right there. There's one for 11 and five which honestly I kind of want to pick up but I don't think I'll have time to evil more than two Tony Allen today that's just going to be a ton of work so I'm going to have to risk it right there but uh Tony Allen or not Markel folks Tony Allen welcome to the squad and again what we're going to do is repeat the exact same process what we just finished doing that's going to be evoing Markel Fultz again and that's going to be Tony Allen again this is going to be a great MT making method for those of you that don't like spending money on this game and I don't want to buy contracts for Dwight Howard so what am I going to do put in Joel and beat who has a diamond contract i should have thought about that in the first place but now all we got to do is get 10 more steals with hito turkaloo and then get the 20 points again with markel fultz and tony allen and we are big chilling now what i'm actually gonna do is have tony allen come off the bench in the second half because one thing i didn't think about was tony allen was using his energy in that first half even though i wasn't shooting with him but now if he comes off the bench in the second half all he has to do is get the buckets and that will be way way easier so once again we're gonna go back into domination again go through that whole process and hopefully we get even more stuff so once again guys i am going to see you at the end of this domination game
All right, so right here at the end of game number two, guys, once again, successful with the 23s on each player, but we failed on the Turkaloo, man. Only six steals. He fouled out. I made the mistake of playing the Trailblazers, who had Damian Lillard as a point guard. So stealing the ball was a bit impossible. I probably should have factored that in when I chose to pick a game, but I was kind of thinking on who had the worst defense, and CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard weren't good defenders, which made this super easy. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll try to hop into one more offline game, just so we can get that diamond turkaloo today i doubt we'll be able to go into unlimited today just because i've been grinding so much offline i'm getting so tired of the game and honestly i just might not have time gonna go ahead and quickly open this portland trails blazers logo thing we got that for free we got a bunch of free contracts and again we can evo our players again so once again tony allen get evoed marco Fultz get evoed and for those of you that really want to make some mt this is a great method because if you're doing this on your first try in domination you're getting 7k mt from tony allen another 3k mt from marco folks you're almost making 10k mt every half hour you decide to do an evo which in my opinion is just insane and when we look at our auctions here you can see both of them already sold so 4.9k just like that 18.7k off tony allen just like that and we've got yet another tony allen to sell so that i find kind of crazy now i'm sure the price for hito turkaloo when he's a diamond is absolutely nuts and i'm actually kind of curious on what that is now obviously his evil requirements are way harder i'm actually just gonna put it at a 500 and he's going for about 58k so the price jump is about double his mt which is a ton of mt but again you're investing a lot of time and it's looking like oh he's actually going for about 49k mt so not really as much mt as you would make with tony allen and markel folks combined and the tony allen markel folks one is way easier right here we can buy one for 44k that would be all our mt I'm not about that life. Instead, we're going to keep grinding and keep making more MT. Plus, we're going to make a ton of MT off these players selling. He's already at 2K MT bid. So DeAndre Hunter, he's going for quite a bit. You definitely love to see it. Once again, repeat that process again. Add this Fultz to my collection. Send this one to my auctions. And I think I'm only going to do a Fultz now to finish this off. Just because Tony Allen is a little bit annoying. And I only want to go into three minute quarters just so I can get that Turkaloo out of the way. As well as another Markel Fultz, which would be easy tony allen is a bit more difficult but once again put faults up for a cheap price of 4.8 that might be the cheapest that might not but it's definitely gonna sell so this tony allen i mean he's not a bad card but i honestly i'm not so hot on him i'm glad he gets a three-point boost and everything but i don't like the fact that he's only got 84 speed i do like that he's got clamps and all that but i just don't think that's gonna be worth it for that reason i think we're gonna go ahead and sell him i'm actually curious what the cheapest diamond card is in this collection because i haven't checked rosen's price and stuff so we'll probably play around with a diamond filter see if we can snipe a tony allen maybe even a deandre ayton but first things first we have to finish this last evil man this is all about an empty making method this episode essentially is an empty making method and you guys are seeing how well it works i'll put them up for 17.5 hopefully that sells right away again i haven't checked the prices so i don't know how quickly these guys will sell but right now the objective is to go into a spotlight and get it out of the way and why not do a spotlight of a player i don't have yet we'll do it for kareem abdul jabbar this should be really easy all we got to get is four steals and 60 points with markel folks barbecue chicken let's get it all right our last and final offline game of the day has been done Fultz got his 20 turkaloo got his four let's go get our goddamn evos almost forgot we got ourselves a free sapphire kareem that honestly we probably will not use unless somehow he could be better than demarcus cousins but finally boys we got our first diamond evo card let's go ahead and hit that evo button looking beautiful there turkaloo is now going to be a diamond 95 overall hito turkaloo and just look again at the insane stab boost he gets it's just gonna be an amazing addition to our team markel Fultz, we already know what this man is about but it doesn't hurt to see that evo one more time we've literally evoed what two four six cards that we've evo today in today's episode alone and you know these guys sold so again collect that mt collect all that mt and look we're sitting at 65k mt except we've now got a turkaloo 
and an Amethyst Markel Folk. So if you think about that in hindsight, we had 71k to start off this episode. We've only lost 6k MT and we've got a new Amethyst and new Diamond on our team. And what's crazier is we can still make more MT off this Markel Folks, except I'll probably do this one off camera or something and update you guys next episode on all the MT I've made. But isn't that insane? What an amazing MT making method that is. Hito, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a contract because I'm not trying to pay for stuff like that. And since I'm not allowed to snipe cards with a bunch of contracts or people think it's fake, I'm just not gonna bother and doing that. But uh, Oscar, John McLaughlin looking good. I do think we eventually need a new shooting guard. Like if we could get our ourselves a diamond DeMar DeRozan that would be awesome I'm honestly gonna go check the filter for diamonds period because I feel like someone told me on Twitter that this is a diamond filter and I'm literally looking on Twitter right now and a bunch of people are sniping cards someone sniped a Rondo earlier for 1k someone sniped a DeRozan and tagged me in it for 500 MT but of course if I do it it looks scammy apparently but uh it is what it is i'm gonna keep trying to snipe here tony allen looks like he's gonna be the cheapest one i don't know how much deandre ayton is going for yeah he's down to 18.5 which is still a ton of mt to make man like i think i'm really gonna buy one more amethyst one and then evo it because that's just so much mt but uh, let's go ahead and do a price check on DeRozan here quickly. Diamond DeMar DeRozan isn't even a buy now. The man alone is going for 120k. The pink diamond is 160k. That is tough. He was going to be a great addition to the team. Oh, looks like we're getting something over here. We're getting 7,500 MT right here. And we're also getting 5,000 MT. What was that for? Oh, the Evo cards. Yo, that is such a dub. If we Evo, what, uh, 19 more cards, we get another 7,500 MT. We really managed to be at the end of this episode with more MT than we started with, with better cards than we started with. That is actually hilarious. Hi, Key. We do have enough MT to try to snipe ourselves a Rondo. So I'm actually going to check how much Rondo is going for. If we can snipe ourselves a Rondo, I'm going to be big chilling. We have 78K, so we'll go to the 80K filter. He's going for lower than that. If I can snipe one and flip him, what I do is Evo him once again. I'm going to check how much the pink diamond is going for. Because if I can flip him, it's going to be super easy. All he needs is 23s as well. So this whole flipping method, honestly, is a big dub in the end. He's only going for 77K right now. So I'm going to go down to the 77K filter. But yeah, again, guys, this MT method is probably one of the best MT making methods right now. I don't think it's going to be around for very long because once everybody starts evoing all the cards, obviously they're going to go down in value. So this is something I recommend you guys get started on right away because if you miss out on this, that's going to be tough, man, to be honest. Oh my God. Yo! Oh! 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 <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness, nothing's better than sniping mid-commentary. Rondo for 6k. Hold up, now we gotta check how much that pink diamond is going for. Because, yo, guys, this could be a big flip. I know Rondo is a gem of a card, but honestly, my budget team just kind of needs more spread. I love Rondo, but we're most likely going to sell this. 9k? All right, so it wasn't really a big flip. Rondo was going for about 77K, and you can buy him as a pink diamond for 85K. So after taxes, you're actually not even really making MT on that. So I'm really surprised about that. The question is, guys, do I sell Rondo or do I keep him? Obviously, the plan is probably going to be to Evo him. What I'm actually going to do is add this and send this Fultz to my auction house add this one to my collection and what i'm gonna do is sell this faults now because i know he's going for value because if i don't record for a while or a couple days they might go down in value and at least i know i have a ruby markel faults that i can make an amethyst at any time so once again we'll put him up for 4700 don't know how much he's going for but then yo this can be crazy what we can do is actually go to our offline lineup move faults to the two all right that's not gonna work out what about rondo does rondo go to the two yes he does and then we'll switch him like this because that works out turkaloo we don't need you in here no more wasting your contracts paul pierce but uh yeah let's go ahead and let's arrange this god squad real quick because this can start looking pretty freaking nasty so as of now rondo's here um faults can be anywhere here i'm gonna price check oscar robertson real quick because oscar's nice but i would definitely rather have rondo i don't like how slow that oscar is so i'm gonna price check him real quick all right so oscar the cheapest one i'm seeing is 44k that just popped up i'm not sure if that's a snipe or not 
but uh man he is a decent card he's got the floor general and the dimer too so guys let me know should i sell oscar or should i keep him or should we sell rondo or should i keep both i'm having a hard time getting rid of them because we're actually starting to build a god squad here we still got 68 kmt left and we can upgrade josh richardson john mclaughlin even jaron jackson jr if we really wanted to and i think that's going to be the move because jaron honestly he's low-key been selling me recently is there any cards that we've missed out on since the last time we uploaded this so the only card i can really use to upgrade this jaron jackson is to either get tobias harris or this other better version of jaron jackson jr but i think what i'm actually gonna do guys is end off this episode i want to snipe some more but unfortunately my house is about to get really loud i gotta help my dad out with working on the basement a little bit so we're gonna end this episode off a little bit early i really did want it to be a long episode but honestly playing all those offline games took way more time than i thought but for those of you that did tune into this episode you now know a good method of making mt go buy as many markel folks as you can right now and evo all of them i'd recommend buying him alongside tony allen so you can evo two cards at the same time i think that is an amazing uh method to do it hito turkulu you can sell him for mt too but i'm definitely going to keep this man hall of fame range extender can't wait to debut him on the no money spent next episode there is going to be moments of the week players drop tomorrow which is why i'm gonna hold off on spending my mt i promise i will get you guys an episode as soon as possible this week at the latest probably tuesday maybe wednesday at the very latest but expect another episode on tuesday guys i do want to appreciate you guys for always showing support and love on this series though next episode should be a banger we're gonna be taking hito online hopefully there's gonna be even more new cards to snipe and yeah we were sitting on a lot of mt so it should be a ton of fun if you guys did enjoy this episode Episode, don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care